Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here in this video. We are going to solve a differential equation from higher order linear differential equation. So let's get going. Problem. Solve d square plus 3d plus 2 into y equals to e power minus x plus cos x. Solution. Firstly, let's find order and degree of the given differential equation. Identify the highest derivative here. d square is the highest derivative, so our order will be 2. And the highest power of the de highest derivative is our degree. Degree is 1. Or just write the given equation as d square y plus 3dy plus 2y equals to e power minus x plus cos x. We know that differential operator d is derivative. And d square is d square by dx square, right? Now we can write the given equation as d square y by dx square plus 3 into dy as dy by dx plus 2y equals to equal minus x plus cos x. So here we are having the highest derivative d square y by dx square. So 2 will be the order and highest power of the highest derivative is 1, okay? Firstly, we will identify the highest derivative that is d square y by dx square. So, order will be 2 and the highest power of the highest derivative is a degree. Right? Now, coming to the problem. Given differential equation. d square plus 3d plus 2 into y equals to e power minus x plus cos x, which is in operator form. f of d into y equals to q, where f of d equals to d square plus 3d plus 2 and q equals to e power minus x plus cos x. So now we need to find the general solution to the given equation which is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Here yc is a complementary function which is obtained using the roots of of the equation of the homogeneous equation of the given non-homogeneous equation. Simply by taking RHS to 0 we will get f of d into y equals to 0 which is the homogeneous equation to the given non-homogeneous equation. And we'll find yp using 1 by f of d into q. Right? Now, let's find yc firstly. Complementary function using auxiliary equation of the homogeneous equation. The auxiliary equation of f of d into y equals to 0 is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of d equals to d square plus 3d plus 2 right so let's replace the differential operator in f of d so that we'll get f of m equals to m square plus 3m plus 2 then our auxiliary equation becomes m square f of m m square plus 3m plus 2 equals to 0. Now we need to find roots. m square plus split this 3m as 2m plus m plus 2 equals to 0. Take m common from the first two terms. We will get m times m plus 2. And the next two terms remains the same. If you notice, you are having m plus 2 in both the terms. So let's take m plus 2 common. We will get m plus 2 into m plus 2. 1 equals to 0. See m plus 2 into m is m into m plus 2 plus 1 into m plus 2 is 1 into m plus 2. Right? Now equate each factor to 0. From m plus 2 equals to 0 we will get m equals to minus 2. From m plus 1 equals to 0 we will get m equals to minus 1. Right? So m equals to minus 2 minus 1 are the roots or m equals to minus 1 minus 2 are the roots of 
our auxiliary equation f of m equals to 0 which are we got real and distinct roots or we can say real and different real and distinct right we know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are real and distinct then we can write yc as c1 e power 1 root into x plus c2 into e power the other root into x right now our complementary solution will be y equals to sorry y is equals to 1 constant into e power 1 root we can take minus 2 as first root and minus 1 as second root or minus 1 as your first root and minus 2 as your second root i'll take minus 1 as my first root so we get minus 1 into x plus the other root sorry the other constant into e power the other root minus 2 into x So complementary function will be y c equals to c1 e power minus 1 into x is minus x plus c2 e power minus 2 into x is minus 2x. Now let's find particular integral. We know that we can find particular integral using 1 by f of d into q equals to 4 f of d we have d square plus 3d plus 2 and q equals to e power minus x plus cos x right then yp becomes 1 by f of d, d square plus 3d plus 2 into e power minus x plus 1 by f of d into cos x. Right? We can find these two separately. We can name the first term as some yp1. And second term as yp2 for our convenience, right? Let's find yp1 firstly. yp1 equals to 1 by f of d, d square plus 3d plus 2 into e power minus x. So here we are having yp1 in 1 by f of d into e power ax form, right? For a equals to minus 1. We have f of d equals to d square plus 3d plus 2. Now let's find f of minus 1 that is for just replace d by a which is equal to minus 1. We get minus 1 whole square plus 3 into minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to minus 1 whole square is plus 1 plus into minus minus 3 plus 2 equals to 3. 2 plus sorry 1 plus 2 is 3 minus 3 equals to 0, right? The denominator must be non-zero. So, we can't replace differential operator d by minus 1, right? Since f of minus 1 equals to 0. So, what we'll do? We'll write 1x into 1 by find derivative of f of d. If f of d is d square plus 3d plus 2, then f dash of d will be derivative of d square is 2d plus derivative of 3d is 3 plus derivative of a constant is 0 equals to 2d plus 3, right? This is non-zero, right? Now we can write f dash of d here, d 2d plus 3 into e power minus x. Now what we have to do? We have to find f dash of minus 1 equals to 2 into minus 1 plus 3 equals to 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 3 equals to 3 minus 2 is 1 which is non zero. So since f of f dash of minus 1 is non zero, so we can replace d by minus 1 is equals to x into 1 by 
2 into minus 1 is minus 2 plus 3 is 1 into e power minus x which is equals to x into e power minus x. And therefore yp1 equals to x into e power minus x. Now let's find yp2. We have yp2 1 by f of d plus cos x. This of 1 by f of d into cos ax1. Right? For a equals to 1. For a equals to 1, we need to find d square which is given by a square minus a square. Right? Minus for a equals to 1, we'll get minus 1 square equals to minus 1. Now, Let's replace d square by minus 1 and see what we'll get in the denominator. Okay. Let's take d square plus 3 plus 2. Always the denominator must be non-zero. If the denominator becomes 0, the total term becomes undefined. Since 1 by 0 is undefined, so 1, 1 by 0 into cos x also becomes undefined, right? So we should get the denominator non-zero. Let's see what happens now. Replace d square by minus 1, you get minus 1 plus 3d plus 2, which is equal to minus 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 3d, which is non-zero, right? So now we can replace d square. By minus 1 square equals to minus 1. Then we'll get 1 by minus 1 plus 3d plus 2 into cos x, which is equal to 1 by minus 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 3d into cos x. Okay, now this becomes 1 by, you can write either 1 by 3d, sorry, 1 plus 3d or 3d plus 1, okay. I'll just take as it is into now. In the denominator, you're having 1 plus 3d, right? Just change this sign, you'll get 1 minus 3d. Now multiply and divide with 1 minus 3d to this fraction. Okay? Into cos x. Which is equal to 1 into 1 minus 3d is 1 minus 3d by 1 plus 3d into 1 minus 3d into cos x which is equal to 1 minus 3d by in the denominator you are having 1 plus 3d into 1 minus 3d which is of a plus b into a minus b form right we can write this as a square minus b square now let's write 1 plus 3d into 1 minus 3d as 1 square minus 3d whole square into cos x right which is equal to 1 minus 3d by 1 square is 1 minus 3d whole square 3 square 9 into d square into cos x. Again d square appears in the denominator so what we have to do we have to again check with d square just replace d square by minus 1 and see what the denominator going to become. Okay the denominator must be non-zero. Just take the denominator part replace d square by minus 1 we'll get 1 minus into minus plus 9 into 1 9 which is equal to 10 non zero right since we got non zero by replacing d square by minus 1 in the denominator so we can take to replace d square by minus 1 here becomes 1 minus 3d by 1 minus 9 into minus 1 into cos x which is equal to 1 minus 3d by 1 minus to minus plus 9 cos x which is equal to 1 minus 3d by 1 plus 9 is 10 cos x. You can write this as 1 by 10 into 1 minus better 1 minus 3d into cos x.
now this becomes 1 by 10 into 1 into cos x is cos x minus 3 into d into cos x. We know that d is a differential operator. So we can write this d as d by dx into cos x. Now we need to find derivative of cos x with respect to x is equal to 1 by 10 into cos x minus 3 into derivative of cos x with respect to x is minus sin x which is equal to 1 by 10 into cos x minus into minus plus 3 sin x. Therefore, yp2 equals to 1 by 10 into cos x plus 3 sin x. Now coming to yp, let's replace yp1 and yp2 that is the result of, uh, results obtained from yp1 and yp2. yp becomes result obtained from yp1 is x e power minus x plus result obtained from yp2 is 1 by 10 into cos x plus 3 sin x, right? Therefore, yp equals to x e power minus x plus 1 by 10 into cos x plus 3 sin x. Now, we can write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. So, our general solution looks like yc for yc c1 e power minus x plus c2 e power minus 2x plus yp x e power minus x plus 1 by 10 into cos x plus 3 sin x. This completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from higher order linear differential equations in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.